Now, there are a lot of Canadian markets in the NHL that get high praise, teams like Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, and even Edmonton, but there's one that has been low-key very solid this season to start, and I think they could potentially make the playoffs if they stay on the right path. Now, that team is the Vancouver Canucks. Now, if you've been following the Canucks, you know that there's something brewing over on the West Coast. As they prepared for this season, no one expected them to come out the gate and have such a solid performance against the Oilers, especially with last season ending with a record of 38-37-3, which was good for 83 points and landed them in the sixth spot of the Pacific Division, well out of a playoff spot to remind you. Now, after some key offseason additions, they continue to develop their young stars and the Canucks are trending in the right direction, so here are some reasons why the Canucks should be improved from last season's middling results. Now, the biggest reason is that the Canucks penalty kill last season was the team's biggest weakness. They finished dead last in the league and would dig themselves into early holes just by giving a goal up with a man down. But this offseason, their GM Patrick Allen made it a priority to fix the penalty kill, adding some key pieces to the blue lines like Ian Cole and Carson Soucy. The next reason is that Thatcher Demko is healthy and well rested. A starting goalie is important for any club, but Thatcher Demko is above average when it comes to goaltending. And even though his rough start last year was not great for the Canucks, it was due to a groin injury, so I expect him to play very solid this season. And adding Casey DeSmith in net as a backup should allow him to get a breather now and then and give the Canucks a solid goaltending tandem for the rest of the season. The next reason is that Pedersen and Hughes are hitting their stride. At the end of the day, the Canucks will go as far as Pedersen and Hughes can take them. They are the two best players on the team and the real engines behind any success for the club. Last year, Pedersen put together a season that is is among the best in franchise history. He scored 39 goals and had 102 points and controlled all facets of play for the Canucks. An improvement on that would put him in Hart Trophy contention, which is exactly what the Canucks need from him. Hughes also finished two points shy of a point per game as a defenseman. Having two of the top 10 players at key positions will greatly benefit the Canucks and their continued development into their mid-20s should help this team reach higher heights. And lastly, the Canucks' bottom six will be tougher to play against this season. For the past several years, it felt like the Canucks weren't a very hard team to play against. Not only did they lack a physical presence, but their bottom six never managed to hold their own during the late stretches of games. That will be changing this season as Bluger is one of the league's top fourth line centers, someone that can win faceoffs and play a shutdown role. A bunch of other key additions like Sam Lafferty will also help the Canucks get some added grit, speed, right-handed faceoff prowess, and additional penalty killing help. With the progression of players like Dakota Joshua, Nils Ahmed, the Canucks are putting together a group of bottom six forwards who can actually be able to forecheck and tilt the ice in a positive manner. But I want to know what you guys think. What is the likelihood of the Vancouver Canucks making the playoffs this season? The Pacific seems to have a lot of competitive teams who have fallen short of their expectations like the Flames and the Oilers. And if the Canucks can keep up their solid play, they could see themselves in the postseason this year. Let me know what you think about this topic. Like this video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.